it's good that they're forced to talk about this. And even for Joe Biden, right? It's like, my man, you can't just sit there and, and pander and say, oh, we're going to help out blacks. We're going to do this for minorities. We're going to do this. It's like, nah, bro. Like, we need to hold you accountable because if you get in office and you just calm down the flames and you just start, you know, saying stuff to make people feel good, it's like, nah, what are you really going to do? And at the same time, I'm one of the people that just don't wait on a president. It's like, okay, even though, you know, a lot of people... um, believe that it has been um and i'm not talking about brutality at race um a lot of people feel like it's a restraint on people who are poor minorities financially i want to know people that's like listen i'm going straight to the internet as long as whatever there's no sort of discrimination when it comes to me selling you know my merch on the internet as long as i can still travel book shows now it has been hard when I have something, an engagement that I have to go to 30 minutes out of Detroit. You know, I have encountered, you know, uh, some hatred and some uh, prejudice and all that kind of stuff. So that's the thing. So that's why I said I try to stay out the way. And, you know, when I, I went, recently went on a vacation and it felt like it was about to turn violent because I walked in on this beach and like um, it was like a very like small beach and people were like staring me down. And, you know, um, they had a lot of um you know they they show like you know confederate or trump stuff and all you know like i said i was like yo i'm as long as y'all respect me we cool i ain't mad at y'all y'all believe what y'all believe in but it, it was a lot of tension and i felt like i shouldn't have been there and that was a mistake for me not doing the research to not be there but i'm aware to okay certain areas stay out of and i feel like it shouldn't be like that but at the same time when it comes to business i do my best to work hard and i'm seeing results so when you look at other minorities, you know, um, their dollar stays in their 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 whole economy. You know what I mean? For an extended amount of days, you know. So for me as a black man, I'm wondering, OK, how can I have that same kind of economy with my own business and keeping it in the squad and, and building wealth that way and keeping it in the family? And I know I'm not going to solve that for black people and be the uh solution for the black economy and black businesses but how can i support black businesses and and economically um support you know black businesses in my city which in the long term decreases crime provides jobs so there's been a lot of stuff that i've been doing you know uh partnering with university of michigan doing policy uh research and we're trying to change different policies in our city so my point is in going on this rant is that I'm focused on myself, I'm focused on my city, and I'm trying to build opportunities. I'm trying to help, you know, other people learn how to build wealth. I'm trying to help other people learn how to invest in stocks. I'm trying to learn how to help other people keep the dollar in their community, which overall impacts the economy as a whole, right? So for me, as a rapper, as an entertainer, you know, whatever, um, I'm like, okay, well, how can I invest in black businesses which at the same time, you know, you look at black culture when it comes to music, fashion, like it's not just, oh, why do, you know, why invest just black? Well, it's because it'll benefit the economy as a whole because it's not just, you know, from what I'm talking about, it's not excluding anybody. It's saying, let's build this up. Let's get it to a point and everybody's invited, but let's build this infrastructure, which means that if we cook some good chicken or if we make some good music, other people are going to come and enjoy it. When you look at, I've never been to um, St. Louis or Louisiana, um, New Orleans, but, you know, a lot of that stuff, jazz music, um, a lot of black culture, all types of people get to go and be a part of the festivals and the music and the culture. And I think it's a beautiful thing, you know. So I'm not one of those people that's like, I'm going to sit here and whine and complain about, you know, um, not being able to make money as a minority but at the same time i feel like it's good to have these things addressed i don't have all the answers i don't have all the solutions but for me getting involved in politics and seeing this stuff i'm like both of these dudes need to be held accountable 